What's going on everybody? Hopefully you can see me here. It's 5.30 in the morning. It's April 17th, 2024. Boy, oh boy, I have a busy, busy week. Just a lot of appointments, obligations, and things I gotta do. So, early this morning is really the only time I can get in. It just so happens that the tides at the beach are gonna be working in my favor. I have about till 10 o'clock today. So, and low tide is at 10 o'clock. So, we're gonna fish that, um, that outgoing tide and we're gonna do something a little different. Now, I've seen some guys do this, but I see more so on the west side of Florida, on the Gulf side, and that is, is guys surf fishing, but just by walking the beach. Oops, no street lamps there. So, that's kind of what we're gonna do today. So, in, in about an hour until that, that beautiful east coast sunrise comes up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a nice big five inch paddle tail by NLBN that glows. So we'll see if there's any predators hunting that surf line in the surf before that sun comes up. Once that sun comes up, I'm gonna switch over. I've got a nice little uh, a lighter setup with my, um, my Loomis steelhead rod, which is like eight and a half feet. And that's gonna be a perfect rod to we're gonna use a jig and we're gonna try and catch some pompano in the surf, maybe even some whiting. See if maybe we can get some some dinner for later. See if, we, if we're starving today or if we're gonna catch some fish. So that's the plan today. I've never done this type of fishing. Um, usually when I'm surf fishing, I, I set up some stakes and um, I cast out some bait and kind of wait. Sometimes I'll cast a lure out while I'm waiting for my rods to go off, but today, I figure we'll show up there, we'll walk up and down the beach, enjoy ourselves, get a little exercise, watch that East Coast sunrise. If we catch something, that's a bonus. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm not sure how much video I can get before that sunrise comes up. GoPros are not the best when it comes to low light situations, but we will see what we can get into. We'll see what we can catch. All right, everybody, so I'll see you over at the beach. time to switch over once that sun starts shining a little bit more we're gonna use a jig no hits on the paddle tail
about two and a half hours. I I was working it, you know, but with all those waves and all that stuff, even with the swivel, I mean, I had a swivel and a swivel, even added an extra swivel onto the, the end of the, or the tip of that jig. And I'm still getting bird nests in my, um, oh my gosh, my insulin is burning right now. Why? Whew. Ouch. I'm giving myself insulin right now and it's freaking burning. Why the heck is it burning? All right, let's redo this. All right, everybody, we gave it about two and a half hours. I mean, perspective. I got to start my day off with the sunrise on the beach. That's a win. But everything else didn't seem to be going very well. For one, my tripod for my phone broke. Literally, the tip of it just broke off. The plastic completely broke and my phone fell off and cracked. Thankfully, my phone's still working, but now it's cracked. So, there's that. And then, I cannot, for the life of me, cat, you know, jig that surf without getting bird's nests, you know? Uh, I had a couple hits with uh, those goofy jigs or banana jigs, whatever you want to call them. I was actually getting some hits when, when I had it tipped with some fish bites. But when you put that fish bites on it too, it even, it, it copters every time you cast it. And when with the surf and the current and all that kind of stuff going on, it's constantly twisting your line. And so after a while you cast out and your your, your braid is just all, it's got memory in it. It's, it's just, next thing you know, you got a bird's nest and I cast out, freaking breaks my line. There goes my jig out into the water. The waves, the currents, just wasn't, uh, yeah. So, one of those days, one of those mornings. But, like I said, perspective. You I mean, you just can't go wrong waking up on the beach. So, everything else, I will figure out. I will get situated. But, I figured, hey, if this is just isn't happening right now, and I don't want to keep snagging up, or not snagging, but I don't want to keep getting bird's nest all morning long. The bite's not super crazy. I'm pretty sure what was biting on my stuff was probably some small whitings. So, since that wasn't working out and I didn't bring my other, you know, bait rods for surf fishing, I figure I will hit up another spot over in Port Canaveral where there's no waves. And we will give that a go before we head home. So, I'm going to head over to the locks, see if there's an open spot. It's about 8.30 and uh, see if we can maybe get another hour and a half uh, fishing in. Um, I still got those, I, I want to keep working these little banana jigs. So, or even the paddle tail. So, because, you know, working a jig in that surf is, uh, I'm sure it can be done, but uh, <laughs> it's full of hassles, that's for sure. So, Note to be taken to self. If I wanna do that kind of surf fishing, maybe I should head over to the other coast or just wait for one of those pristine days where there's no winds, there's no swells. Oh, and then to top it off too, we had an uh, onshore wind. So every time you'd cast that thing out, the wind would blow your braid and sometimes it would wrap on the tip of your rod or, or yeah, yeah, one of those mornings. But like I said, perspective baby you know not many of you like, there's probably a lot of you watching this too that you know you, you couldn't wake up and go to the beach before you start your day so I'm very blessed in that sense so I'm not gonna sit here and complain I got to go fishing and uh, it ain't over yet you never know maybe we can still score something over here and uh, but this spots always got some people so we'll see Anyway, fingers crossed we can still maybe beat the skunk.
out of time for the day, everybody. I gotta get heading back. And my luck, we had a couple bites there, and that was about it. And then I loaded up the car and then closed the back of the car with my keys inside, and it locked for some reason. So I just locked my keys in the car. Thankfully, my wife has an app that was able to open it. But today, this morning, has just been, hey, not working for me. If we all get those days, though, just means I got a good day coming up soon. So, it was nice to get on the water. Nothing beats waking up on the beach, watching the sunrise. And, of course, any fishing is, is, is a good day for me. So, hopefully in the next video I can get on some fish for you all. I know that's what you like to see. But today is just a real beautiful somewhat stressful day with uh, all kind of challenges so hopefully I have knocked out all my hiccups and challenges for the day and the rest of the day is smooth sailing we'll see <laughs> anyway everybody I will catch you tomorrow in the next video let's see if we can get the kayak out catch you in the next one tight lines everybody peace